hey and welcome back friends uh, in this video we are going to cover some topics on set theory and in particular we will look at de morgan's laws and we will try to prove them using venn diagrams we know this is important for uh, secondary school set theory so six seven eight classes pay attention all right so let's get started folks so de morgan's laws in English state that the negation of a disjunction is the conjunction of the negations it's a little trick with the uh, words here and the second one says the negation of a conjunction is the di disjunction of the negations so it's a little complicated it sounds a bit complex here when you put it in this format if you try to simplify what it's mentioned here it can be rewritten as the complement of the union of two sets is the same as the intersection of their complements and the second one can be rewritten as the complement of the intersection of two sets is the same as the union of their complements okay now this still sounds a little complicated unless we try to understand it in a more simpler fashion right and that's exactly what we're going to look at okay so in mathematical terms whatever was said in the previous slide can be translated as negation of a or b is nothing but the negation of a and the negation of b and the second one is the negation of a intersection b is equal to the negation of a union the negation of b so in set theory this can be written as a union b complement is nothing but a complement intersection b complement and the second one is conversely a intersection b complement is the same as a's complement union b's complement where a and B are two sets where A bar is a complement of A or A um, slash is a complement of A and B slash is a complement of B and the intersection uh, the inverted U sign is the intersection of sets A and B and the U symbol is a union of sets A and B all right so let's try to prove this right through Venn diagrams Let's start with the very first exam, very first statement, which is A union B complement should be equal to A complement intersection B complement. Now let's look at this Venn diagram here. Here you have the universal set, and the universal set consists of uh, sets A and B, and then two elements eight and nine, which are outside of A and B, but still part of the whole universe. Okay. Now A consists of the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and B consists of the elements 4, 5, 6, and 7. So now let's look at the left hand side, right, which is A union B complement. Now in order to equate that, we need to first find what is A union B. So A union B is nothing but all the elements of A and all the elements of B, right? So that gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? We don't include 4 and 5 twice because the elements of a set are distinct. So the next part is to find the complement of A union B. So the complement of A union B is everything outside of A union B, which is nothing but these two elements, 8 and 9. So that's what we get here. So our left hand side equates to 8 comma 9. Now we have to evaluate the right hand side. So let's look at what is A complement. A complement is everything that is outside of the set A. Now A is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Outside of set A is 6, 7, 8 and 9. So that's our A complement. Similarly, B complement is everything that is outside of the set B. Now the set B consists of the elements 4, 5, 6 and 7. So everything outside of set B is going to be these elements here and these elements here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9. And now when we're trying to find the intersection of A 
complement and B complement that gives us what is common between these two sets it's nothing but 8 and 9 and this 8 and 9 is also the same as A union B complement so this proves the first statement from De Morgan's laws which is A union B complement is the same as A complement intersection B complement simple and now we are going to try to prove the second statement which is the complement of A intersection B is the same as A complement union B complement okay now let's look at the same example we have the two sets A and B our left hand side we want to calculate the complement of A intersection B so let's look at what is A intersection B first a intersection B is whatever is common between A and B. Now what we have common between A and B is nothing but the elements 4 and 5. So that's our A intersection B. And what is the complement of A intersection B? Is everything outside of A intersection B. So everything outside of 4 and 5 is the complement of A intersection B. So that, be, that will be the elements 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8 and 9 that's our left hand side now we look at the right hand side of the equation so the right hand side is a complement union b complement so let's look at what is a complement if a is 1 2 3 4 5 we know that a complement is everything outside of 1 2 3 4 5 which is 6 7 8 and 9 okay similarly b complement is everything outside of what is in set b now since set B is 4, 5, 6, 7, everything outside of set B is going to be 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9. Alright? And now what we have to do is do the union of these two sets, A complement and B complement, and that is 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Again, we do not include 8 and 9 twice because the elements of a set are distinct. And hey, what do we see? We see that this is nothing but the same as what we evaluated here on the left hand side. So that means we are able to prove that A union B complement or A, uh, or A intersection B complement is the same as A complement union B complement and that proves the second statement from De Morgan's laws. So that was it folks. Hope you enjoyed this short video from Alfie. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much.